Hawking once said, AI is likely to be either the best or worst thing to happen to humanity. Hello, and thank you for taking the time to listen. My name is Indrani Bhattacharji from DPSI Ghana, and I'm here to talk to you about the impacts of artificial intelligence and technology in our day-to-day -day lives and immediate future. First of all, what is artificial intelligence? Simply put, it is the ability of a digital computer or computer-controlled robot to perform tasks commonly associated with intelligent beings, like humans. Examples include maps and navigation, facial detection and recognition, social media, autocorrect, etc. Practically everything we use these days has some sort of AI involved in it. Now most viewers would think that this is one of the coolest technologies ever, right? Well, in a way, yes, it definitely has revolutionized research, technology, and even our day-to-day -day activities. For example, we can now develop an AI robot to go to Mars, the moon, the deepest parts of the ocean, and get an equal amount of information as we would have gotten if a human had gone to explore such places. Perhaps we would get even more data, all without risking life. Using artificial intelligence, doctors and medical professionals can have access to more precise and immediate results, which makes curing a patient much easier. Okay, so that's all science stuff. How does artificial intelligence help us in our day-to-day -day activities? Now, imagine having to get to an important place without knowing the route to it. Frustrating, right? That's when AI comes in. Almost all electronic gadgets have navigation apps. They give you the shortest route to your destination, analyze the speed and movement of traffic, and even predict the time to your destination. AI is pretty much a lifesaver in such a case, isn't it? Another very important use of artificial intelligence is facial detection and recognition. We all have smartphones and tablets these days, don't we? Most of them have facial detection and recognition. This prevents thieves and other people from accessing your personal gadgets. As a student, I use the help of AI smart assistants such as Google, Siri and Alexa to ask questions or clear my doubts. Now, there cannot be any disadvantage to such a cool technology, right? Wrong. In fact, I would say that there are more disadvantages of AI than advantages and its negative impacts are the major ones. One of the most concerning disadvantages of AI is that it reduces our curiosity and level of understanding. Being a student, there have been many times where I was stuck at a question. Instead of searching for the answer by going through books, asking teachers or parents, we simply Google it up. Now, though we may get an answer from Google, we did not get an explanation for why something is what it is. We ju we're just satisfied with the answer that we get. If we had asked a teacher, parent, or simply gone through books, we would have gotten the perfect explanation, which would have helped us understand the topic thoroughly. Another very big disadvantage of artificial intelligence is that it makes us lazy. How does it do so? Nowadays, solving simple mathematical problems or any sort of problem solving has become tiresome for us. We do not need to get up and switch on the lights anymore or turn the TV off. Just tell Alexa and it will do it for you. You see, getting someone to do these simple tasks for us eventually makes us lazy. Another very big disadvantage of artificial intelligence is excessive screen time. The videos that we watch on YouTube and, the, and its recommendations are based on videos we watch and like. Now, these videos serve as a distraction for students and adults and cause them to be on such platforms for too long. The radiation from such gadgets harms our eyes, skin and the body in general. There are also impacts of artificial intelligence on jobs. For example, people like statisticians, drivers, etc. are under the risk of losing jobs as AI develops. This is because artificial intelligence produces more precise statistical results quicker and self-driven cars run by AI are becoming more and more popular day by day. So company owners do not find the need to employ such people and thus they are under the risk of losing their jobs. A question arises here that what about the new jobs that will be created because of this? Well, the development of AI is happening faster than ever, and thus, this is a really short time for us to adapt to the changes, create new jobs, or even learn new skills. 
Now, do not get me wrong. I'm not saying that we should not use AI. In fact, having it in our lives has made it a lot easier. We should use AI, but not be dependent upon it. Artificial intelligence is about replacing human decision making with more sophisticated technologies, said Falguni Desai. With this, I thank all of you for the time accorded me and wish you a goodbye.